Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. My name is Ken Tracy, and uh, this is Coffee with Ken. It is Saturday morning, and it's November 12th. It's 4.55 a.m. Happy Saturday. This is a little show I have been doing for uh, quite some time. It is a show about me lighting candles. <laughs> but it's also a show about me sharing some feelings I'm having, some emotions I'm dealing with, the ups and downs we have in life. Sharing a little bit about my dog, Holly, who likes to get in the camera every chance she gets. She's just laying over there. She always gets jealous when I start talking to the camera. Feels she needs petted. If we're not going to go for a W-A-L-K, she better be petted. <laughs> But anyway, for those who have been watching a while, you also know it's a show about me sharing my love of coffee. And I'm so excited to take my first sip at this early hour. I hope wherever you are, <laughs> whatever you're doing, you got a hot cup of coffee in front of you as well. Cheers to us. Oh, <laughs> it's a pumpkin spice. Mm. Oh. <laughs> so good. It's early. It's a three sip morning. And believe me, I'm not going to stop at three sips. Anyway, <laughs> how you guys doing? How you feeling? How'd you sleep? I slept pretty well. I went to bed. Uh, I got home early yesterday, or I got home about 4 30 in the afternoon, and it felt so good. I don't know why. It wasn't a back-breaking week by any stretch, but it just felt so good to be home uh, early. I think over the last couple of years, I've learned the value of home. And again, as I talked about before, and it might have something to do with me not drinking, but, you know, just enjoying quiet times at home. And I got home yesterday afternoon at 4.30. I went for a nice long walk with my dog. And uh, sorry that I called you the dog <laughs> with Holly and uh, uh, you know cooked a frozen pizza ate a bunch of chocolate got on the couch and just kind of relaxed and uh, watched The Godfather for the umpteenth time and uh, just felt so good to have a quiet Friday night at home maybe I'm getting old or boring or I don't know lazy or all of the above uh but it just felt so good to unwind and uh fell asleep i don't even know what time 8 30 or something right before the scene where uh uh they're christening the baby and all the bad guys all the other bad guys are getting killed it's a funny scene to fall asleep during but i did woke up a little while later and godfather 2 was playing on tv didn't watch that uh, so anyway, got up really early this morning, woke up at 3.15, was not, you know, sure what to do. <laughs> I think I need to start staying up a little later, because I'll tell you what, Saturday morning at 3.15, there's not a heck of a lot going on. So here I am in front of you. I actually considered not doing, I was feeling kind of blue, I, to be honest with you, laying in bed going, hmm, what's going on? <laughs> what should I do? Then, I don't know, thought of, uh things I'm grateful for, and one of them was coffee, and one foot led to another, and I was in my kitchen, just letting out Holly, I was brushing my teeth, I was feeding Holly, doing my yoga, popping up my computer here, putting my phone against it, pouring my cup of coffee, taking my first sip, and saying good morning to you, and again, I think that's the way life is sometimes. Sometimes we don't have the answers. Uh, we don't know why or what our next step should be or, you know, what our fifth step should be at least. Hopefully we know what our next step should be. If we don't know what our next step should be, I think we're thinking too big. I think a lot of times, you know, I'll get frustrated and go, crap, I got something to do next week. What should I do? Or my girls are going to be off to college in a couple of years. How am I going to pay for college or, or what have you? And I think sometimes, again, we think too big and too long term. Uh, or if we are struggling or are feeling anxious or are worried about the future, I think we need to shorten our time frame and really almost sometimes literally just think of my next step. 
oh, I'm going to go get a bowl of raisin bran. Or, whoa, Holly just pushed the table. Or uh, <laughs> we're going to do it from a different angle over here. Or, uh, I don't know, I'm going to run the dishwasher. Or I got to go to the washroom. Or Holly and I are going to go for a walk. In other words, shorten our time frame. And literally sometimes figure out what our next step should be. Literally. And, uh, again, put one foot in front of the other and uh, keep moving forward, uh, and not be paralyzed with fear of the future. And, uh, I know, and I'm, I'm talking to myself and that's what this is about. I'm really talking to myself when I'm saying this and, uh, figuring if it applies to me, maybe somebody out there, it might apply to as well, but not get too far ahead of ourselves and uh, just do our best to keep moving forward day after day or moment, not even day after day, sometimes, again, moment by moment. And uh, I don't know, you know, today's going to be a series of steps, series of one foot in front of the other, and then I'm going to find myself tonight uh, having a quiet night and looking forward to seeing my son tomorrow and enjoying, you know, peace and quiet and unwinding and Maybe another long movie. <laughs> and then drifting off back off to sleep. And then, knowing me, I'll probably be back here tomorrow uh, shooting another video, drinking some coffee, and uh, sharing a few moments with you. So anyway, that's all I have for you today. It's Saturday morning. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope um, you're living in the moment. I hope you're shortening your time frame uh, if you're feeling anxious and just literally thinking of the next step. I hope you are uh, uh, feeling good. I hope you are loving yourself. I hope you are forgiving yourself. And as always, I hope to talk to you soon.